All right, good morning, everybody. It is June 12th, 2018. And man, I, I'm feeling pretty good right now. I feel like I was right on, right on the money with what I said two or three days ago because now when I go watch the USGS new report, they are saying exactly what I had said three days ago by simply doing my own research and looking at the tilt monitors and the gas emissions. I was 100% right about this gas emission. Um, this is all deforming. This is all going in. There was a big earthquake right over here that I'll show you from that, that was picked up by the uh, European models that is not being reported by the USGS. You know, go figure. You know? Uh, first, though, I thought I'd go ahead and show you. I had also mentioned don't go to Hawaii, okay? Don't go there. I'm be I honestly feel like my videos are being down like just simply because the Hawaiian government and they're, they're just trying to make money they're trying to make money off of tourism they're just trying to get you there to spend money which I feel like is so is so wrong like well, why? why why not just get the information out why are you guys just trying to fund your you know your pocketbooks but anyways back to back to the video uh, we've had uh, we, we're just ramping up there was an explosive eruption this morning uh, of course at uh, just before five o'clock seismicity is ramping up for the next one um, there's a nice time hard to say exactly when that'll you. be because it's become uh, a bit more variable than normal uh, we also have some new information about the subsidence of the summit crater um, parts of it appear to be moving towards the crater and subsiding rather rapidly. Um, the north rim of what was formerly uh, Halemaomo, the old Halemaomo crater, has dropped as much as uh, 40 yards vertically and moved uh, towards Halemaomo. So it, it looks like it's sort of slumping in um, along with the piece that was slumping in from the west earlier. Is that right? Is that, is that right? You know, because here I am putting out s decent information with sources, but you know, you know I, like I said, I, I think my viewers understand I was right on the money, and um, yeah, I, and uh, oh yeah, so this, uh, I want to show this in Google Earth, because it's not being reported by USGS, so I'm going to show you where it's actually at. Oh, whoops. Let me show you because this is even more proof to what I'm saying why I feel like it's collapsing exactly where I said it was going to collapse at right there volcano house I want to say is like right over there somewhere and that's right where those gas emissions were if you remember me talking it said there was gas emissions which is subject it, you don't get gas emissions for no reason I thought maybe you know you know this whole thing's pumping out gas so I at first assumed maybe you know it's just random but no I feel like they would have gas emissions all over the place. So I knew these gas emissions are signals to where the magma is coming up and it's fissuring and breaking down. And I was 100% on point because, like I said, I said that two or three days ago, and here we are. They just came out and said it's slumping. There was a big earthquake last night that justifies what I was saying. It was a 5.3 right on the money, right there where the gas emissions stuff's coming out at. So, you know, you're welcome. I'm out here putting out decent news for you. And, uh, uh oh, oh. So this video right here is going over the air quality. As I said, I mentioned don't go to Hawaii just a couple minutes ago. Don't go to Hawaii, and this is why. Sore throats, itchy eyes, watery eyes. Um, it would be a good minute. Of pe these colds are people who that live aren't there. going away. Um, my daughter, seven years old, is complaining of headaches. You know, and it's like I don't know what else to do. I mean, I you know we use essential oils. I use those on her, but I don't know what else to do because I can't keep loading her up with medication. You know, that's not good for her either, so just, just kind of, you know, it just, it's day to day. I've noticed a lot of mucus build up in my throat and like it, in turn it makes it hard for me to breathe. I've noticed I try to stay inside more when I see that the levels have gone higher to the unhealthy, or the red or the orange. Um, I have bought air purifiers for my room and living room and areas. Um, I've gone to the doctor a couple of times. Well, it's a lot of coughing, congestion, eye itching, and nose issues as well. I noticed that some of these particulates, once in a while, they'll get clogged in my pores and cause a little bit of outbreak or like uh, sores on the inside of my nose. So I just wanted to get some more information on whether that's going to be long term, short term, or, you know, how to even fight against it. But yeah, so 
as I said, and if you looked at the resident area, it's all around Hawaii, all around the Big Island. So it's not just people who are focused around the lava output area. I mean, this is there's the whole area is covered in smoke, and, and you should expect that. I mean, I, as I said, that's one. That's the only thing I disagree with Dutch. I just don't feel like we should be telling people to go to Hawaii when you have residents who live there who are telling the civil defense they they're, they're having issues themselves. You watched it right there, and I can show you. I mean, you can look it up. Big Island Video News, Kona Pack Meeting. Just look it up yourself. Watch the civil defenses. Listen to what they say. What you know? Listen to what they ask the USGS. And listen to how they respond back. I noticed, uh, and someone made a very good comment on this. They were talking how can someone go grab a couple under, undergrads to seed into the question groups because the questions that are being asked by these reporters are subpar you know what i'm saying like i don't feel like they're asking legit questions that the public wants to know or that's that we should know in general if they did any type of research they did any looking into stuff they'd have more questions and that that's just something that worries me um i wanted to bring that to your attention i have i, I do plan on doing an in-depth video today over Loa and its possibility of erupting um there has been earthquakes over there that are not being reported and I just want to give people a more in-depth look at the possibility of what could happen. We'll take a look at the gas emissions and the uh, tilt meters. And we'll just try to figure out what's going on. But uh, until then, guys, hope you guys have a great day.